Hola a todos, welcome back to Spanish with Patri. Bienvenidos a Español con Patri. Today's video, it's a really, really useful one and I think it's one of the ones that you have been asking for the most. How to order food in a bar or a restaurant in Spain like a local. Are you ready for it? Vamos! <music> First things first, let's ask for a table, let's get a table. In Spain, notice that it's not, not as common to book in advance as it is in the UK, for example. We are all about improvising and, you know, we go out very, very often for tapas and meet up with friends at the end of a work day. So most of the time we actually don't have a table booked. So you would show up at a place and say, hola, buenas, una mesa para dos, por favor. Hi. A table for two, please. Una mesa, a table, para dos, for two. Por favor, please. If you're very organized and you do have a reservation, you want to say, tengo reserva, I have a booking, tengo reserva, a nombre de, to the name of, okay? So that's you giving your name. Tengo reserva a nombre de Patricia Ruiz. I have a booking to the name of Patricia Ruiz. I have a booking, the name is Patricia Ruiz. Sometimes the places are so packed that you can't get a table, unfortunately, and they might offer you, ¿Quieres en barra? Do you want at the bar? En barra? And you might be okay with that. It's absolutely fine to eat in the barra. I quite like it, actually. It's a very Spanish tradition. So you might want to say, sí, en barra. Or you might say, nos quedamos en la barra, we stay at the bar. In some places, it's actually cheaper, the prices are cheaper in the barra than they are in the restaurant. And they're definitely quicker at the barra. It's a lot louder though, but it is the real Spanish experience. I do like it. Okay, you are ready to eat, you're sat down, you want to see what's available there. You want to ask for la carta, la carta. We don't normally ask for the menu, we ask for la carta. If you ask for the menu, you're normally referring to the menu of the day, menu del día, which is, by the way, one of my favorite things about Spain and eating in Spain. You normally have, between Monday to Friday, every restaurant offers a menu of the day, menu del día, which is a menu for a set fixed price, very cheap, actually. It's between, depending on the place, obviously, but it can be between 8 to 12 euros normally, and that's what I've seen the most. You get first, second, dessert, one drink and bread all included in the price. It's absolutely brilliant. When my friends go there, they can't believe we are eating what we're eating for the price that we're eating. It's increíble. So don't confuse the carta with the menu because that's normally referring to menu del día. Once you know what you would like, you can order this in many different ways. And I know what they normally teach you in school is me gustaría, I would like, quisiera, I would like, Quiero, I want. Mm. I tend to avoid those because they don't sound very native. I normally would go for something like quería, I want it, quería. Queríamos, we want it. Queremos, we want. Yeah, you can say quiero as well. But if you are in Spain, you want to attract the attention of the waiters. Sometimes they're so busy. You want to be in the game. And how do you get their attention? No pressure, but you need to be quick. You need to be quick, snappy, tell them what you want straight away. So I would say something like, hola, buenas. Me pones? Can you get me? Can you serve me? Me pones? Can you bring me? Me pones una Coca-Cola y una caña, por favor. That's a very, very, very local way of ordering. And no, if you add cuando puedas at the end, whenever you can, me pones una caña y una Coca-Cola cuando puedas. That's not rude. That's the way we normally say it. If you say cuando puedas at the end, that means whenever you can. It's kind of an equivalent of please. We don't say please all the time and we don't use the conditional as much as you do in English. I would like... In South America, I know they're a lot more formal. Quisiera, quería, gracias, por favor. I promise nobody's going to get offended if you say... Ponme una caña cuando puedas. Gracias. If you want to add, por favor, 
Perfecto. Say gracias at the end. That would make you sound a lot less boring and a lot more native. If you are a wine lover, you might want to ask, what wine do you have by the glass? ¿Qué vino tenéis por copa? Copa means by the glass. ¿Qué vino? Which wine tenéis por copa? So remember, they can serve you wine por copa or por vaso or por botella. You can get a whole bottle. Alcohol in Spain is extremely cheap, really, really cheap. Obviously, it depends on the uh, restaurant where you're eating and the establishment, but usually it's very, very affordable. So you might want to just ask, how much is it por vaso? ¿Cuánto es por vaso? ¿Cuánto es por botella? This is a very common mistake. In Spanish, when you're, transla when you're translating red wine, I know that red is rojo, so you go for vino rojo. Eh. Error. You don't say vino rojo, you say vino tinto, tainted wine, vino tinto, okay? So that's your red wine and then vino blanco is your white wine. You can always ask for carta de vinos, your wine menu, carta de vinos. Okay, I know this one is important for many people. How do you ask for a beer? Most people know the word beer, cerveza, and I know most of you know how to say Una cerveza, por favor. But actually, in Spain, we don't refer to cervezas as cervezas that often. Most of the time, we refer to them as cañas, cañas. Una caña, por favor. But what is a caña? I'll tell you. Caña is a small glass of beer. Caña, okay? Comes with a foam, everything is nice, fresh, cold. Why do we have such small glasses? If you have big ones, they get warm. And in Spain, we all know, it's usually quite hot. So they give you smaller glasses and you can just top them up and get new ones as you, as you go. If you want a double, you want to ask for una doble, por favor, una doble, a double. That's a large glass and it's usually the equivalent of a pint. I'd be very careful though, if you see, if you sit down and you're at a place that offers dobles, <sighs> watch out, that usually means that you are in a tourist trap. Spanish people don't like dobles, they would always go for a caña. If they're already telling you doble in the menu, run away from there and go to a real Spanish place. You are not into the beers, you're not into the wine, you want some refreshments or you want some water for the table. You want to order una botella de agua. Una botella de agua, una botella de agua por favor. You can specify botella or you can just say jarra. A jarra is a jug and it normally implies that it is tap water, okay? So you can say botella de agua, mineral, or you can say jarra del grifo, or you can just say vaso de agua. Un vaso de agua, por favor, a glass of water. They might normally ask you what would you prefer, whether it's a bottle that you pay for or free water. And I have heard actually that from now on, it is compulsory in every restaurant in Spain to offer you jug water as well as the mineral water, which didn't used to be the case. Interesting. Regarding the refreshments, the other non-alcoholic drinks, just have a look at what they have um, in the carta and order whatever you like. Importante, important, how do we order Coke? Coca-Cola, una Coca-Cola. We don't say una coca, we don't say anything else. I have heard my friends before saying una cook, por favor. Coca-Cola. If Coca-Cola wants to sponsor me, <laughs> feel free. Okay, now we're getting on to my favorite bit. La comida, the food, the tapas. If you're in a tapas bar, you're gonna see that in the menu, in the carta, they have ración and media ración, a whole portion and half the portion. So imagine that you're ordering a ración de jamón. Do you want a full plate of it or do you want a bit of a smaller portion? How do you order this? Hola, buenas. Una ración de jamón y media ración de croquetas, por favor. Simple. Do you know what I've just ordered? I've just ordered a portion of ham and half a portion of croquetas. And I know you panic with this question when they ask you, ¿algo más? Anything else? You could just say, sí, um, quería algo más. Yes, I wanted something else. Or you could just say, Otra de, especially if you're in a bar, you might want to shout to the top of your lungs, otra de jamón, another one of ham, 
Otra de calamares, another one of calamari. <laughs> That's the easy way, and you will see that they repeat it after you. Otra de tal, marchando, okay? That's bars in Spain for you. Otra de tortilla, por favor. Otra de croquetas, por favor. Another one of, another one of this, another one of that. And dessert, if you've got a sweet tooth. ¿Qué postre tenéis? Normally, especially if you're having a menu of the day, menu del día, they will write down the first, they will write down the second dish, they will write down the drinks, but they don't normally write down the desserts. I don't know if this is because desserts are not actually that popular in Spain. They're popular, but they're not a big thing. Most people just go for a piece of fruit or something like that. Flan, natillas, those are the common desserts. If you want to ask for the desserts, you can say ¿Qué postres tenéis? The postres are not normally on the carta. They're normally on the waiter's head. So you want to pick his head or her head and ask, and ask them, what do you have for dessert? ¿Qué tenéis de postre? And this is normally because a lot of our desserts are based in seasonal fruits. So depending on the season that you're in, you would have different desserts. There's no really point in writing them, I guess. Okay, asking for the bill. I know you know this one. You're going to say, la cuenta, por favor. That's a very common one. However, if you want to order in a different, more local way, I'll tell you in a second. But first, if you're enjoying, make sure that you subscribe, please, so you don't miss the next lesson. So yes, we can say, la cuenta, por favor, but a very, very common way of saying this is, me cobras, por favor. Me cobras, can you charge me? Me cobras, can I pay? If you use that one, I promise you would sound a lot less foreign and a lot more local. As always, I hope you found this very useful. This is all about teaching Spanish, but living Spanish. Teaching Spanish that's actually useful for a daily life in Spain. So if you're enjoying this, make sure you subscribe and nos vemos en la siguiente clase. Adios!